first thing I'm going to do is start by acknowledging country and I'm on Gadigal country, which is the land of the Eora nation. And I'd like to pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. Um, and welcome you all to this afternoon's innovation con uh, conversation. And I'm very, very excited to be joined by Professor Emmanuel Josserand and Fred Etiom. I hope I've done justice, Frederick, uh, with your beautiful name, who are both uh, global strategy and innovation um, experts and advisors. Um, we're going to be discussing our brand new masterclass, which has been developed in response to the Co-op Connect project, which we've been doing with Emmanuel for the last couple of years. And what came out of that, uh, that very interesting research uh, paper was this piece around innovation. What is innovation? What is it in relation to cooperatives and mutuals? And why do we need, need to incentivize it, if you like, in our organizations? There's a tension in cooperatives and mutuals, which seems to be that on the one hand, they sometimes don't think that innovation happens as effectively as it could. And then on the other hand, when we look at actually what cooperatives and mutuals do in the world, their impact, we see that in fact, they've been places and have been a, an enterprise model that has really been very significant in terms of innovation, innovation responding particular to the customer, uh, the customer need, putting people at the center of the business. So we're going to discuss that and wind back to why we've come up with this idea of customizing an innovation course specifically for this, um, for this sector. Um, so uh, today is for you to get to know the presenters of our innovation masterclass um, and to learn a bit more about what will be in the course so that you can think about whether it would be effective and, um, and good for your own organisation. Before I get on to some questions, um, let me start by just um, asking each of our um, facilitators of the course to let us know a bit about your backgrounds, why you're interested in this area and, um, and what your, your experience in, stra in strategy and innovation is. So maybe to you first, Emmanuel. Thank you, Melina. And, and thank you for, for having us for the, for the webinar and for, and for the masterclass. Um, look, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a mixed profile. I embraced academia uh, as my initial career, but, but I, I, I've always liked um, to, to mix things. And, and that's, that means I've done a lot of consulting um, and, and training, executive education. Um, and also, I also like to mix uh, sectors and, and, and activities to, to study, um, which is why I was absolutely delighted a few years back when we started working together and, and, and doing some research uh, on the, the cooperative uh, sector. I think it's, it's fascinating. There's, there's a lot to offer, uh, especially in, in, in our times with um, a business model that's innovative in itself. And, and that's really the idea. How do we make the, the, the best of this model? So I've worked, I've, I've worked with Liu Melina and, and actors in, in the sector for, for several years now, including in, in uh, leading that Co-op co Connect uh, project. And we'll, we'll come back to that. That's, that's how, that's what led to the, the Innovation Masterclass. Thank you. Thanks, Emmanuel. And Frederick, over to you. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. So my name is Frédéric Etion. I'm, I'm an executive advisor on, on strategy and, and innovation. Um, that means my work is to help um, leaders uh, create new, new growth and, and build resilience using corporate innovation. Uh, I, I've been doing that for um, a long time. Um, I'm also the co-author uh, of, of a book on this topic called The Invincible Company that I co-authored with uh, some of my colleagues from, from Strategizer. Um, so yeah, this is a, a, a topic that is very close to my heart. That's the job I do. I'm most of the time in the, in the trenches of strategy and, and innovation and okay, occasionally train, which I'm very happy to do um, very soon with you. Frederick, while we're on your, um, your book, which is very familiar and your idea is familiar to a lot of people in our sector, um, before we get into cooperatives and mutuals specifically, what for you does innovation look like in that invincible company? So, yeah, 
to to talk about innovation is is um is often tricky i mean when innovation can mean many different things for many different people and and the risk of confusion is always high when you enter into a conversation about innovation so some of my colleagues in the field they say innovation is something new that creates value um for me that's a big too a bit too wide as a definition so what I like to use as a definition, because I work in, in a business context, is value creation with new products, new services, new business models. And in, in that context, um, seeing innovation, uh, you know, what I want to see when I go into a, a company uh, is a healthy portfolio of innovation projects, uh, that are supported by some innovation programs um, and um, enabled by the right culture, uh, a culture that um, recognizes that, that you need volume to innovate. And, and with volume co comes the fact that most of those ideas will fail and, and that's okay. I love that idea that we can invite in failure to get growth. So, um, Emmanuel, do you agree? What does innovation in action look like for you? Yeah, fully, fully agree on the the importance of uh, of accepting failure, and but also the the curiosity, the the desire to learn, the the desire to do things differently, the the desire and the capability, the capacity to to explore. And, and so this, what Fred was describing, this shift in culture is really fundamental. It's really an organization where innovation happens has, has had to have had this, this shift. Um, members are ready to see things differently. And, and we'll obviously we'll work and we'll present all the tools. And, uh, and, but I think the fundamental question during the masterclass uh, around why innovate for the sector? Why is it important for your specific co-op or for other co-ops, what's different uh, around innovation in the sector, that's, that's, that's fundamental. Once you know why, when you really answer to that, that fundamental question, then it doesn't happen in one day, but will you, will you come out of the, of the masterclass knowing how to use the tools, but you need the answer to the, to the, to the why. So Emmanuel, you wrote, you wrote the report and, and you wrote this major recommendation, which is that we needed more innovative cultures in cooperatives and mutuals. Why is that so? And I think you've partly answered this, but what else did you find? Look, um, we, 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 were, we were asking to experts and executive in the sector, it was quite high level with, with, with several interviews, uh, what what was important around innovation, but also for the future of the sector, and and innovation came out as as a key element. Of course, we know because many now you you tell you remind us all the time, but I fully agree with that. We know that the the the, co the cooperative model, the you know, uh, or, or, uh, um, uh, member owned organizations is already is already a, a potential for a shift in in how things are done. But what I heard and what we heard when, when the, the, the team of researchers when, when doing the, the project is that there was a feel that, well, the model is not enough. It's embracing the model and, and feeding it with a flow of innovation that's sufficient. Um, sufficient to always bring more value to members. Uh, that's the first level, but sufficient to do that in an environment that can be sometimes quite competitive. If you are doing, you know, banking or health insurance, uh, you are facing fierce commercial competition. People have been trying to launch new products, new services every day of their life for the past few, you know, decades or for, for some of them centuries. So it's it, this, this point of differentiation from the sector is, is also fundamental. So how do we embrace the, the cooperative efforts, but also how do we fit it with, with the right level of innovation to compete with, with other models and other organizations? So we need it to compete. That, that's uh, that's got to be a great starting point and to feed that creativity. Um, Fred, if I could ask you, you know, having having worked with so many different types of companies, including the listed sector, I assume, but but non-profits, small, medium, large organizations. What, what can cooperatives and mutuals expect to get from this course? What will be inside the course? Yeah, so 
what, what we will um, do is equip participants with, with um, a few fundamental uh, ideas and, and frameworks to, to have better conversations around innovation, to, to make better decisions around innovation and, and ultimately, ultimately create better outcomes. So the, the way the course is structured, uh, it runs over three days. The, the first day we, we talk about those fundamental ideas and how they, are, they can be relevant in, in your context. Uh, and we also talk about the fact that innovation um, needs a different toolkit. Uh, uh, and actually that's related to that number one fundamental idea that innovation is radically different than what we call exploitation, you know, running your existing business. So it's of a different nature. So you're gonna need a different set of tools. You're gonna to need a different mindset. You're gonna need a different process. You're gonna to need to make this decision using different rules. You're gonna to need to invest your money differently. Everything is different. So um, day, day one is about the, the tools. We'll focus on some of the, the key tools in the toolkit, some more relevant for, for organizations that are more for profit, like the business model canvas, but some more relevant for organizations that are more mission driven with the mission model canvas as well. And we'll look at other tools as well. Uh, day two will be more around an experience of business design. What does that mean to design an, an idea for a new product service or, or entire um, business? And day three will be around how do I test that idea to check that there is potential to de-risk the idea, how, what are the activities I need to do to test a, a new business idea. So that's how the, at a high level, the course is structured. And I understand it's got a team approach. So what do you mean by that, um, Frederick? Yeah, so a team approach, um, basically what, what, what is interesting here is that you know you can you can approach that at the individual level and you get a lot from all those ideas concepts and tools but you can also um, come to the course uh, as a team as a small team and and within those three sessions start working on something that is relevant for your team like an innovation challenge that is relevant for your team a project that you're working on right now but maybe you you're stuck somehow um, so that, that's, that's what can be an additional benefit from coming as a small team to the course and using the course as a platform to uh, go further in your, in your innovative challenge or project. Great, thank you. And Emmanuel, you, when you did the research, you focused first of all on your interviews with chief executives, but I understand this course is uh, you know, got a wide, wider sort of um, uh, stakeholder model. So you can, how, how far down in the business um, through the management level, what, what kind of people are, uh, are suitable for the course? Look, it's a masterclass. So we, the aim, and that's really, we, we have workshop that, as you know, Melina, we did, we did the initial report and then we did specific uh, workshop with, the, with executives and leaders in the sector. And we had three successive workshops to de really define the content. And basically one of the needs was, well, we need really to understand how, because that's best practice that, that Fred has been developed uh, with Strategizer and, and uh, been working with them for some time. So that's, that's global best practice, but uh, there's a translation that's needed. So we'll, we'll work on translating that uh, into the, the, the co-op world and we'll do that together. So we we'll want to work on what, why is that important for you? Why is that important for co-ops? How do we apply it a bit differently considering the, the, the business model? And we have cases that, you know, that are from the co-op sectors and cases that are not from the co-op sector so that the, this translation is made, um, is made easy. So we look at the strategic level. Why would we do that in the, in the cooperative sector? But as Fred described, we'll also be very hands-on and have, have concrete tool. Um, our objective is that after the three days, you should be able to answer the why question, to, to approach strategically innovation for the sector, but also to have a first experience with the tool. So we won't be we're talking a bit too much today, maybe, but that's not what the masterclass will, will be. Um, it will be more an interactive workshop. Well, each time we present 
the tool, you, you'll apply it. And then you'll be able, when you go back to your company to, and to your organization, to directly uh, implement and start working as a team or, or, or on a specific uh, project. Um, so it means uh, leaders and, and you know, exec at the executive level, you'll get value because you'll get this strategy strategic thinking at a more operational level. So if, you know, a few people from the same team would come and, and start workshopping their idea, well, they'll be able to use the tools as, as well. So that was executive and emerging leaders that are in charge of innovation. That's, that, that's the target. So that's how you support the, the participants on their innovation journey, Emmanuel. It's a sort of coaching uh, methodology. Yeah, so it's first implementing during the program. So we, you know, we'll brainstorm with with the actors of the sector. That's why it's good to have only cooperatives and, and mutual around the table. So what for you? Why would you do it? How do you do it? What, why is it important? How is it different from more commercial, uh, traditionally uh, traditional commercial business model? Um, then we'll use the tools and people will start playing with the tools and, uh, and using it in their own context. Uh, then the idea is that they go back to their organization, do some work, and when they need it, uh, we'll organize one-on-one one, one on one or one-on-team, if it's a, a team together, um, session, uh, a, a, you know, a specific dedicated coaching session so that, you know, they've learned during the session, they've started to apply, they went back to the, the organization, did one step further, and then they asked, they can ask a series of questions and, and work through the, the next step of the, of the process. Um, but I just wanted to ask, Frederick, um, why you love uh, teaching innovation? What, what is it about either this masterclass or just the, the field? What, what do you get out of doing this? Yes, so for, for me, the masterclass is always a very, very special, um, very special moment. I, I know I was a, a student of, of innovation once um, and um, and um, I can say that you know such such a training uh, absolutely changed my my uh, uh, my professional life and and my life in in general. So I'm uh, um, I'm very um, always um, uh, happy to be able to now transmit what I've learned in the last few years in in that space and 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 try to make participants. You know, empowered to to use that uh, to unlock the the uh, the value that or to create the type of outcomes that they want to create in their life or for their their organization. So for that that's my that's my my goal that you know they leave the training ignited and empowered to to do uh, new things to explore new business ideas. Yeah. It's great to have that motivation to get out of bed every morning to, I guess, every new cohort that you deal with, you're, you're seeing this new kind of creativity explode. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, in every, um, every um, masterclass, uh, it, it could be um, a trigger point or um, a point where, where uh, something new gets created. And that's one of the most extraordinary things in my life uh, to be able to when you lose track with some of the participants as you do, as, as you imagine, but somehow by chance to be reconnected, you know, a few years later and learn that they've created something extraordinary uh, with those, those ideas and tools. It's always a great, um, a great moment, yeah. So um, I'd like to uh, just round things off now and thank you both for giving us the insights you have today. Thank you very much. We look forward to going on, on the innovation journey with you. 